Welcome back for season five. What's different about season five? What are you most looking forward to? Well, obviously, you know, playing Silas, you know, uh, that's a completely different, I've never played another character. I've played the Ripper, um, but I've never played someone, uh, you know, completely different. So I'm excited about that, of course. How has the trans transformation from Stefan to Silas been for you to portray? Uh, do, you, do you enjoy the change or has it been difficult? No, it's def I mean, it's, uh, it's challenging, but you know, it's, um, uh, you know, in the beginning, so, so Silas is sort of pretending to be Stefan, so it's a bit of a kind of, you don't, you don't want to make it too wildly different because otherwise people will call him out. So it's been sort of similar, but the difference between Stefan and Silas is that Stefan is um, much less assured and much less um, sort of decisive. I mean, this guy's been around for 2,000 years, so his his the motivations come from a place of like deep, deep wisdom and knowledge as opposed to Stefan. He's a little more self-aware, I suppose. How does Silas compare on a scale of one to 10? How badass is Silas? I mean, I think Silas is a little more understated in, in certain ways in the sense that I think the Ripper is uh, this kind of um, visceral, like uh, doesn't know how to control his emotions, you know, sort of hates himself afterwards, rips people he people's heads off and then loathes sort of what he is. Whereas Silas is kind of like, he doesn't really apologize for who he is. He, didn't, he also doesn't need to deal with pettiness. He won't even bite out of people, uh, bite people's necks because he doesn't want to degrade himself. He doesn't even consider himself a vampire. He's, he just sort of cuts people and drinks their blood it, it, because it's just sort of cleaner and, and he's, you know, it's, it's just a completely different thing. Will we see Stefan at all this season? Will we see him underwater? Or? Yeah, you'll see him underwater and then he'll get out and then, you know, and, and it's cool. Stefan goes for, for a, I like Stefan's little arc of, of uh, I don't want to reveal too much, but he, he kind of, um, he doesn't just get out of this uh, safe and, and then, you know, suddenly uh, goes back to being the good old Stefan. I think there's like a, a big transition period because he was down there really suffering and I think he's had a lot of epiphanies and dreams and um, I think he comes back a changed guy. What's been your favorite part about playing Stefan and has that changed with the introdu introduction of Silas? What's my favorite part? Well, my favorite part of playing Stefan is exploring his darkness and um, that hasn't really changed. <laughs> Do you think Elena will ever make a final decision between Stefan or Damon, or do you think we can continue I mean, to expect the back and forth? I think women are generally indecisive. <laughs> and I think uh, once you get one thing, you want the other. And I think the grass is always greener on the other side. So she'll make a decision, then she'll change her mind. Say la vie. Overall, how do you think your character's relationship with Elena has helped him or hindered him? Um, it's probably hindered him in the sense that she's a 17 year old girl <laughs> he's diminished his 160 year old self to high school trivialities so if you weren't acting what would you want to do uh direct i really love directing um producing films i still be in the film business i really love the idea of making films and tv and um uh, writing, uh, I'm not great, but it, it, the idea of journalism, writing in articles, you know, uh, writing in newspapers or something, or magazines, I like that. I like creative sort of, you know, stuff, um, but uh, yeah, probably directing. I'm really very keen on that. Have you directed before? I have done some stuff, and hopefully we'll be doing some in the future. Oh, wow. Yeah. What do you think attracts the chicks from all over? Ian Somerhalder and his baby blue <laughs> eyes. And his perfectly, uh, you know, that, that little smile he does, a little pseudo-sadistic slash sexy smile. That's but not Paul about. Wesley at all. No, it's all about, I mean, that's the only reason I watch. I don't even, when I watch The Vampire Diaries, I don't even watch the scenes, I just watch Yin and I zoom in on his baby blue eyes. <laughs> this fall, the blood will flow. You might try to dial down your glee. Thursday, October 3rd, the night that raised the stakes is back. Make yourself right at home. The season premiere of The Vampire Diaries, followed by the delicious new series, The Originals. Quite an operation. Don't miss a single bite. That would be tragic. The season premiere of The Vampire Diaries, followed by a special premiere event of The Originals. Thursday, October 3rd, on The CW.